Hello everyone in YouTube land, it is I, The Collector, here to bring you another video. And today we are going to be fighting Tapu Fini, who is the Sun and Moon Guardian from Pony Island. It is a water type and a fairy type, so it is weak against grass, electric and poison. And for some reason, the game has decided me to do only two Mewtwo's, a Gengar, a Loading Executor, a Rosa Raid and a Victory Bell is here. And today I am joined by Shadow Knight. Hiradan, Anwar Bobbin, The Collector, and Maverick37. I have no idea who the hell they are. Either way, we're going to be reviewing how hard it is to catch this Pokemon, and can it be taken down with a decent amount of players. Join us now to find out. There's Tapu Fini, who actually looks a lot prettier on Pokemon Go than in the anime. Not that I'd want to sleep with it, but it does look like a Pokemon you'd want to give a hug and bring home to your family. Let's just hope we can catch it. Okay, so at the moment, we're using Mewtwo with Psy Strike. Uh, basically, it's, it's basically primary moves are going to be Water Gun and Hidden Power. The other moves can be quite frequent. And for some reason, somebody's using a Toxicroak. Okay, Mewtwo is down. Mewtwo the second. Let's go Mewtwo, let's go Mewtwo, let's go Mewtwo, no Mewtwo is dead, no, hang in there Mewtwo. So yeah, um, if I could pick my perfect team, I probably would throw um, Raichu, Jolteon, Gengar that knows poison moves. Okay, speaking of poison moves, we've now got Gengar, and we know Sludge Bomb, and Sludge Bomb is super effective and it knows Moonblast. Good for it. Okay, we're doing a lot better than we did with three people because we did try to do this raid with uh, three people and you know, we got slaughtered. Okay, Gengar's down. We're now on our fourth Mon and we've not got it into the yellow yet. Okay, let's see what we can do. It's using Moonblast again, so yeah. Uh, Okay, Executor's out. Roserade. Okay, so Shiny86 is now on the prowl. Okay, so yeah, do not, I mean, under any circumstances, use Dragon-type Mon against this, because it's Nose Moonblast, and it will slaughter your Dragonites, your Aquazers, your Salamance. If we have a look around, we've got an Electrovire, we've got a Mega Venusaur running around. 180 seconds on the clock. Most of my Mon are dead, and we still not even got it into the red. Victory Bell. Uh, not one I would particularly would have chosen, but hey-ho, this is the game after all. It knows what it's doing better than I do. Hmm. Somehow I've made it into the Hatred V shop. Okay, anyway, but now it... Can we do it? Can we sludge bomb this Pokemon and hopefully catch it? Not going to lie, I'd be gutted if I wasn't able to catch it. <laughs> no, all my Pokemon are out. So yeah, even with uh, six people, and still taking out all six of my Mon. Okay, Shiny 151 uh, has just been slaughtered down to half health without even doing anything. Okay, let's see if that cannon will help. Yep, super effective. All right, we've only got 123 seconds on the clock. So the person that wrote on Facebook that you could take this down with three people, uh, I, without being rude, would say that is complete and utter crud. This is going on YouTube, so I basically can't say any swear words, otherwise I'd be uh, banned and censored. Thankfully not happened yet. Okay, Leafeon is nearly down. We've got 96 seconds on the clock, and we've mostly got it down. We might just be able to do this. Right, so that was six people involved. We had a Mega Venusaur from what I could observe, and we only just managed to take it down with 83 seconds on the clock. So friendship with Anwar Bobbin, three Golden Reses, ooh, six Rare Candy, 12 Hyper Potions, six Revives, gonna need a lot more than that, and a thousand Stardust. Want to raid for special research? Alright, so Herodan got the final strike. Armwood Bobbin got the most stone. Brendo Traveller and Shadow Knight managed to was the hardest hitter. 
Okay, we've got 16 Pokeballs. Let's see how hard this will be to capture. There you are, my pretty. Golden Razu. Okay, it seems... Nope, it's going to do its attack. It seems up quite close, so this shouldn't be too hard to hit. And first ball locked in. Absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely wonderful. Registering to Pokedex, that is it. We now have all four of the Alola Guardians. So this one knows Hidden Power and Surf. Just check its IV. Uh, free start, lacking in certain areas. Okay. So this has been the Tapu Fini Raid. Please be sure to like, comment and subscribe for all things Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh! and dinosaur related content. I'm the Collector. I hope this helps. Thank you for watching. Take care.